Welcome to Off the Hook on the Plate. My name is Josie Lanzi, and you know it. It's another beautiful day here in the sunshine state of Florida, and I'm going to take you out fishing with me. Hopefully, bring home that fresh catch of the day and create yet another Off the Hook recipe. So let's get fishing so we can come back here and get cooking. Let's kick it! Well, we made it. It's not bad at all. Maybe about a foot and a half right now. And uh, we just put out the marker, so we're repositioning to uh, set our spot up here. And uh, we'll start getting some fish on. Cut up bait, squid, and sardine first and see what's down there. This size uh, red grouper here, that's the first fish I, I pulled up. I mean, just put them down and reel up. Cut up bait. What you got over there, Brent? Short red grouper. Another short red one. At least we know red groupers here now. I just need one. It's a keeper. Whew. We getting them big grunts again here today. We got a few in the cooler, and you know what? This baby's going in the cooler too. I'm looking at dinner right there. Yeah. Look what Brent got. Woohoo! We got snappers. Come on now. Come on. It's not that big. Well, actually, it's pretty nice. Mangrove snapper. Nice dinner. <laughs> Woo! Here, look at here. We got number two red grouper back to back. It's pretty. Whew, I'm getting tired. Let's get this in the cooler. It was an awesome fishing day. As you can see out here, it is calm as it could be. It's going to be a smooth ride home. We got two red grouper keepers, and Brent also got this huge uh, mangrove snapper. That's going to be very good. So, and we also have about 18 to 20 of the white grunt. So overall, it's, it was a good fishing day. So we're gonna be heading back in here shortly because it's hot. So we'll see you back in and I'll show you yet how to create a new fish recipe idea. See you back at the house. Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me here again in the kitchen today. I'm going to show you yet how to create another off the hook on the plate recipe with our fresh catch of the day. I'm just finishing zesting an orange here and it smells so good. All right, let's start with our rice. I have half a cup of part boiled white rice here. I want to make sure you get it all in there. And one cup of water. Some sea salt. We're gonna bring this to a boil, and once it's boiling, we're gonna reduce it back to a simmer and cover it and let it cook about 20 minutes. Okay, we have here our beautiful snapper. Uh, they're about six ounce um, fillets. We have two, and tonight's recipe will serve two. We're gonna keep this very simple. Just a little bit of sea salt on both sides. We're keeping this very simple. As you know, I always mention that fresh fish doesn't need a whole lot. And we're keeping the skin on today. All right, in this small bowl, I have two tablespoons of hoisin sauce. And we're going to add about a tablespoon of fresh parsley to it. I'm going to go ahead and mix that well. And set that aside for the moment. Okay, I have here in a frying pan extra virgin olive oil. It's about a tablespoon and a half. We're going to add our fillet skin side down. You want to let the fish cook to get a nice crust on that skin. All right, it's been about um, three and a half, four minutes, and you can see that nice little golden crust forming around the outside. That means our skin is exactly nice and golden and crispy the way we like it. Now I'm going to remove any excess oil from the pan, and we'll go to step two with our fish. All right, step two is actually just to take that hoisin and parsley mixture and brush it all over the flesh, just like so, and coat it really well. We don't want to dry the fish out. This is also at the point where you want to turn on your oven on broil as we're going to finish cooking this beautiful snapper in the oven. Look at this. It's looking fabulous already. 
All right, our beautiful snapper is well coated with the hoisin sauce that has um, fresh herbs as parsley in it, and it's now time to put it under the broiler for approximately five minutes. All right, I just took my fish out of the oven. It smells fantastic. I have it covered here in aluminum foil because we're just, I want to keep this warm, and we're just going to finish up that beautiful rice. I wanted to tell you that I did not waste that orange. After zesting the orange, take a sharp knife and go around and cut out the actual skin of the orange and section out all the orange wedges. We're going to top our dish with our orange wedges today, so there's no wasting in this kitchen and freshness on the very top of our dish. All right, our rice is cooked. It's time to fishing it up and give it some kick and flavor. I have a tablespoon of butter. The zest of our orange. Some fresh parsley. Go ahead and mix that. Oh, it smells so good. All right, now we just want to incorporate the black beans. And that's it. All right, I've plated some rice at the bottom of our plate. It's now time to plate our fish. You just want to just set it like that right on top. Look how beautiful it looks. And we save those orange wedges. And you just want to add a few wedges to the top, just like that. Look how beautiful it looks. Put a little bit more color. I'm just going to put a little parsley. And voila, yet another off the hook, on the plate recipe. Hoisin snapper with the orange and black bean rice. It was bon another fabulous, fun trip. I had a blast sharing my fishing trip with you and sharing yet another off the hook, on the plate recipe. Do me a favor, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. Try that recipe out, I guarantee you're gonna love it. So I'll see you back here next week for another off the hook, on the plate recipe. Bye everyone. Thank you.